most previous generations, one through four, were about personal communications, that is human beings communicating with uh, each other and with the internet. So now fifth generation has introduced the idea that a lot of the communications will take place from machine to machine. Uh, and I think in 6G, we'll see a lot more of that. What we expect is that it will be much higher uh, data rates, lower latencies, greater energy efficiency. So what that means for consumers is new applications like virtual reality, There's a lot of research to do. I think in, in every generation, we've seen probably a decade of research leading up to it. And I think we're now somewhere in the early times of that. So I think we still have at least five more years of research and then there's years of development. But we don't really know exactly what 6G will be. And I don't think any part of the world is really prepared for that. Europe is in the same boat with, uh, the, 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 with the US and other parts of the world. A lot of the things that we're going to be thinking about doing in 6G are going to require uh, greater degrees of security and privacy, particularly the use of greater use of data. There are going to be many more uh, bad actors there, and they're going to be able to attack the network in different ways. So these are new challenges that really haven't come up in previous generations of networks. That is a bigger challenge for Europe than it is for the rest of the world because, for example, in America, we don't have the same laws about protecting data. So in Europe, uh, there's an additional level of difficulty in being sure that those kinds of laws are, are met. There's gonna be greater use of artificial intelligence in 6G, uh, a lot of data created at the edge of the network, personal data. Uh, we need to find ways to protect that data without hampering the performance of the network, and that's going to be a challenge. Both the complexity of the system and the amount of data available means that it's much harder to design a network based on models. So we need to use machine learning and artificial intelligence to learn from that data and, and how to optimize the network.